Hey guys, it's Janae. Welcome back. So quickly, I wanted to share with you um, the Coco and Reno dyes and what I did with them. Um, if you watched my um, last haul with In Love Art Shop, then you probably heard me say that um, I struggle with rolled flowers. <laughs> really bad, you guys. But this month's kit comes with rolled um, flowers. This is one of them. And then there's this one. And then there's also um, some like leaves. And then there's also two flowers. And so what I have done is I have made the rolled flowers like so. You guys, like I've mentioned, I'm not very good at this. This is actually this die right here and it creates a really pretty rolled flower um i think this is probably the nicest one i've ever made it actually looks somewhat cute um so that is that one and then the other one that is larger um i don't know if maybe i'm not rolling this correctly but I, it just it didn't really look very good to me and then it has like a huge base and so i didn't I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm probably not doing this correctly, but for this video, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, what I did and what I'm going to do. I'm just going to show you really quickly with this flower right here. Okay, so I'm going to show you the examples first. I decided to make um, beaded charms with rolled flowers. And so this is the rolled flower. And then I did use the like leaf from the die set but because it's going to hang like this I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of putting the leaf here um but I think it does look really cute so there's a little rolled flower and then the beads on the top and then this one is still drying but I'll go ahead and show you so this one right here um it looks like this in the center and then I did put some like uh is it called uh glitterific glitter glue and i put it all along the base to kind of just spruce it up and like i said it is still drying and then i did add some beads to it and i did put like a loop on the top so that you can dangle it let me set this back down because it's still wet um okay so i'm gonna quickly just show you how I did this. You guys, it's super simple. Um, probably no explanation is needed. Oh, glue strings everywhere. Okay, so you're gonna take a head pin that has, oh, I got glitter all over from picking that up. Um, like the flat head pin and I put a tiny, tiny bead on it so that it will not drop through. And then I took my I took this tool right here and I, I can't remember what this is called, an owl, all, something like that. And I just kind of poked it through straight down the center and then pushed it through just a smidge so that the head pin can fit through. And then you just take your head pin. This one is actually two inches. And then you're just going to stick it straight down. Okay, so then you just pull it through like so and then you can see the bead on that side which is really cute it's like a cute little center okay so I haven't done this but the die set does come with like this really pretty um, little flower piece and I thought maybe we could add it here we'll see what this looks like we're doing this together because like I said I haven't used this and then you could also add sequins you guys if you wanted to like I pulled out some sequins so you can see it there um, if you want to add sequins, you can, we'll see what this looks like. No idea. <laughs> um, you may want to glue if you use this like larger flower, adhere it down, but I'm going to try to just kind of get it on there with the bead. We'll see. We'll see what this looks like. And then you're just going to put your beads on. Um, pretty simple. And I did notice that it personally, I think it, the rolled flowers look better when you use a double-sided paper. Okay, so I don't like the way that flower looks and I don't like the sequin, maybe just because it's kind of getting buried. But you just wanna make sure that this is like nice and tight and then add your beads. Okay. 
I was going to add this star bee, but I, it's going to be kind of a tight squeeze because of the way that it sits. Let's see. Yeah, I won't be able to make a very big loop. So we're going to leave that one off. And so then this is what it looks like. Oh, glue strings everywhere. And then you're going to take your like, I think these are called needle nose pliers. You guys, I'm not really sure. I should probably ask my husband the correct terminology because, you know, he's my Mr. Fix It. But, and then you just kind of bend it like at a, what is that? Like a 45 degree angle so that it's flat going that way. And then you want to take off the excess And then you're left with that. I do have a like um, unwire wrapped uh, bead tutorial. I'll leave that below in case you're interested. And then you wanna use these pliers and they are like round on both sides. And this is kind of how you just, you make your little loop. And then on the edge right there, however far you put it up is how big your loop is gonna be. So I'm just gonna put it there. And then you just kind of gotta like, hold it all in place while you are making your loop like so and then this one got a little bit bent so we'll just fix it but then yeah that's what it looks like I think it's pretty cute so I mean um like I said you could also use your glitterific glitter glue I remember when we all went crazy for that stuff you guys could put um the rolled flowers out and like splatter them with uh like Heidi Swap Color Shine or whatever you have like laying around in your stash. But this is what it looks like. I think it's pretty cute. And it'll be a fun little way to dangle projects off of, to dangle something off of your projects. Um, and like I said, I do think that the double-sided paper does actually look better because the inside of the flower is printed and so is the outside. So I think moving forward, I'm definitely going to use... Um, double-sided paper just because I think it's a little bit more pleasing to the eye. I mean, that doesn't look bad. It still looks really cute, but yeah, so that is my super quick tutorial, guys. Um, three little beaded tassels that I made. This one's getting fluffed up from setting it down to dry. Um, or not beaded tassels, beaded rolled flower charms <laughs> so make sure that you head on over and subscribe to the coco and reno um, monthly dye kit if you haven't done so they also have a stamp kit available and you guys their dyes are really great um they cut super well and yeah i think you guys will be pretty pleased with them if you haven't already subscribed anyways i will catch you guys in the next video thank you so very much for watching and have a great day bye